Well, tonight in the podcast, ladies and gentlemen, the Democrats are very concerned, very, very concerned about the reelection campaign for President Joe Biden. And why they concern is because of the black vote. That's why they concern. Now, recently, Barack Hussein Obama had went to the White House and he had a sit down meeting with Joe Biden. And he told him that his campaign has started getting aggressive and allowing his campaign staffers to make more high level decisions without running everything through him. He's worried about Donald Trump and how Donald Trump has galvanized people on top of Barack Obama. We have old Jim Crow Clyburn. He's another one that is concerned about the reelection campaign of Joe Biden. Now I want you to hear this clip from Clyburn here and we want to address a few things that he has to say. Let's go ahead and roll that. Concern about how Biden is managing his reelection bid. This comes as President Biden uh, is struggling to solidify support among black voters, uh, including on that trip to South Carolina. Obviously, you were instrumental in Biden getting the Democratic nomination. Obviously, black voters uh, were instrumental in President Biden getting then Senator Biden or then Vice President Biden getting the nomination in 2020. How, how worried are you? about black voters showing up for President Biden in November? Well, I'm not worried, I'm very concerned. And I have sat down with President Biden. I don't know, I saw those reports. I've also seen at least one report indicating that I have sat down uh, with President Biden, and I did uh, with him. Uh, and I've uh, told him what my concerns are. I have no problem with the Biden administration and what it has done. My problem is that we have not been able to break through uh, that MAGA wall in order to get to people exactly what this president has done. If you took the little simple thing as student loan debt relief, he promised to relieve student loan debt, and he has done that. But one part of his promise he was not able to keep because six Republican um, attorneys general and the United States Supreme Court, the six to three vote, stopped him from doing so. But he sought another way, and he has forgiven $132 billion to 3.4 million people in student loan debt. But nobody writes about that. Nobody talks about that. I'm still hearing from people as recent as yesterday that we did not uh, he did not keep his promise on student loan debt relief, and he has. 80% of what he said he would do, he has done and is continuing to do it, and people don't focus on that. They only focus on that 20% affected by that court decision rather than what he did to get beyond the court decision. He's done the same thing when it comes to the judiciary. He stood right across from Emanuel Church and said, if given the opportunity, he would put an African-American woman on the Supreme Court. He has done that. But he went even further and put a South Carolinian African-American woman on the second highest court of the land, a South Carolinian African-American woman on the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals. He has appointed more African-American women to the courts of appeal than all previous presidents combined. And that is a fact. And if you go through each one of his pieces of legislation, mm -hmm. look at the uh, Inflation Reduction Act. He has reduced the cost of medical care. Cap, insulin at $35 a month. I know what insulin was costing a month. My late wife died from diabetes. $800 a month she was paying for insulin. So this president is keeping his promises, but keep, people keep focusing on the one or two things he did not get accomplished. No, we didn't do yeah. uh, what we wanted to do uh, with voter, uh, with the John Lewis Voter uh, Education Advancement Act. But we are going to keep working until we get it done. So as you can hear from Clyburn, supposedly that is the accomplishments of Biden, which is about nothing at all. It's nothing. But you mentioned about the Supreme Court justice that he put on the bench. You mean this lady? Can you provide a definition for the word woman? Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. You can't? 
n- not in okay. this context. So I'm you not a biologist. The meaning of the word woman is so unclear and controversial that you can't give me a definition? Senator, in my work as a judge, what I do is I address disputes. If there's a dispute about a definition, people make arguments, and I look at the right. law and I decide. Well, so I'm not. The fact that you can't give me a straight answer about something as fundamental as what a woman is underscores the dangers of the kind of progressive education that we are hearing about. Yeah, that's a win. A lady who can't define what a woman is, that that kind of woman, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this is the kind of people that he's cool with, right? Not a real sister, that one. But everything Clyburn has talked about does not benefit the whole of black America. And Clyburn, you're the main one that was against reparations. See, maybe if you supported reparations, Clyburn, and told Biden, hey, we need to support reparations because they keep coming up to me at my events talking about reparations. But no, what you told the people, look, you're not getting it. That's what you said. And so why should Biden do anything about reparations when your so-called majority whip in the Congressional Black Caucus telling you to your face, you're not getting it? So since black folks can't get reparations, then black folks, and that came from you, Clyburn, then that means that black folks can't vote for Biden either. You understand? Why didn't he discuss this migrant crisis that was created by the Biden administration. Why have Clyburn talked about that? Why isn't he talking about Chicago? Why isn't he talking about black people in New York? He's not talking about anything like that. He want to mention something that nobody cares about. Nobody can see. It don't matter if he so-called did it. The migrant crisis is taking away all of it, supposedly, right? And this student loan debt, that only affect some people. They don't affect all the people in America. You need to do for the whole, not for a few. You want the whole to come out just for what he done for a few? Then you mentioning the situation by insulin. Okay, maybe that's great for people that's dealing with that issue, but that doesn't affect the whole. They only affect the people that's dealing with that issue. The thing is, they don't have nothing to present about Biden right now. Nothing. Cause he has not done nothing for black America. That's why you have nothing to present. You can't pull, you know, a a rabbit out of a hat with him. You can't, you can't do nothing with Kamala either. Cause she has been just a placeholder. Literally. She haven't done anything. You mentioned that you can't penetrate the MAGA wall. So you mean to tell me that all black folk, are talking about MAGA and all that, make American great again and all that. No, the majority of black folks aren't talking about that. You can't so-called penetrate the MAGA wall because you haven't done anything. So you could penetrate it if you've done something for black folk. You could penetrate it, but you haven't done nothing. You squandered your time. Since you squandered your time in the White House, it's the reason why you have this issue and problem right now. See, black people are not going to come out and vote for y'all in 2024 without something on the table for specifically for black America. The gone are the days where y'all can just tell people, oh, it's Trump, 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 save democracy. What democracy? What democracy are we saving? Oh, you mean that democracy in Chicago where people want to vote if if they say to be a sanctuary city and y'all took that away from the voters? You mean that kind of democracy? Is that what we're saving? Trump is a threat to that? What democracy we have that, that he's so much of a threat to. That's the thing. Y'all have to find something else to run on. It can't be Trump fear tactics. You can't say democracy. You can't say, Oh, January the 6th. You can't say any of that right now. You have to show and prove why you have the time and the time is ticking. You are in crunch time. Now you are in January. We are going on the, the, the second week of January. And you know good and well the way time passed. January going to be up and gone. Y'all know this. Time flies like this. That's the reason why Obama is at the White House talking to Biden and say, hey, man, you're going to lose this election. That's basically what he's telling them. 
So you better change change things real quick, but it's nothing that Biden can really do at this point. It's nothing. Because I'm not definitely voting for no Biden. It ain't happening. Biden haven't done nothing for my people. We asking for reparations. We asking for an anti-black hate crime bill. We want to get uh, qualified immunity removed for the uh, uh, police and all that. They didn't do nothing. Nothing whatsoever. I don't care about no voting rights. Do whatever you want to do. But I'm talking about black folk and what we need. But he surely made sure to be papering up the migrants. He surely uh, uh, made sure to give Ukrainians all kind of money. He gave the, 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 he signed the Asian community to have an anti uh, Asian hate crime bill. He made sure of that. And yet he can't count on them to go vote. That's the interesting part. He cannot count on them to go vote exactly when he did something for them. Now, see, if you've done an anti black hate crime bill, you wouldn't have to worry about a vote right now because black folks would make sure that to go out there and vote for you. We would have did that, but, but, but you can care less and that's fine. That's fine. You can care less. No issue. No problem. That's why black folks can care less. So y'all can sit up here and do all these interviews you want on CNN. Y'all can try to twist black folks arm. But black folks are saying, no, this is a business arrangement at this point. It's a business arrangement. You do for me, and maybe we'll come out and vote for you. See, Sheila Jackson Lee learned the hard way in election in Houston. When you don't do right by your people, they're not going to show up for you. It's just bottom line. Because if just 10% of the voters in Houston who are black would have showed up for Sheila, she would be the mayor of Houston right now. But she's not. Oh, it's a lot of upsets that's going to be happening in this coming you know, political season. And that's good needs to, it's time to get all the people that's already been in there. Haven't done nothing for black folk and get them out. Let some new people come in and tell new people, if you don't do nothing for us, you gone too. just remember that. And they are running scared about this right now. Scared. So scared. The fear tactics don't work anymore. It's the show and show improve era. Let's call it what it is. We ain't got nothing to lose. If Trump getting elected, well, what, what do you got to lose? We don't have nothing no way. Cause y'all made sure we don't have anything. See, maybe if y'all gave black America something Democrats, maybe y'all gave us something. Then we were worried about it, worrying about losing it. And then on top of that, how about you gonna get reelected when he's pissed off also the Muslim community. Stop talking about us. You need to go talk to the Muslim community. They pissed off about what's going on in Israel. They pissed. They came out and say they're not voting for Biden. You didn't have that problem in 2020. You didn't. You got even some black people that don't want to vote for you behind that, or maybe some white people or just people in general may not want to vote for Biden for that situation. This man has a lot going against him, and Obama can't help him out of it. Clyburn can't help him out of it. You just can't. He has to stand on his own because he made these type of decisions. And the way it's looking, it looks like he's going to end up being a one-term president. And that's a good thing. That's good. Because if Biden becomes a one-term president and he's removed out of office because he ain't done nothing for people, maybe they'll give the Democrats a wake-up call. But we know how the Democrats are. We know, we know, we know. They're going to sit up here and blame all of us. They, that's what they're going to do. Blame us. It's our fault what Trump is doing. It's black folks' fault. Not like black folks don't want to sit it out but it's all our fault. Everything is our fault. If we don't vote it's our fault, what happens? Uh, it's it just, just be used to it, but let's see what's going to happen in, in the continuing election cycle this year. We already know it's going to go down. We already know they're going to be trying to pressure black folks, but look like folks going to be chilling at the crib. People ain't, ain't not worrying about y'all. Y'all have no enthusiasm for nobody to vote. Cause you haven't done nothing for black folk. If you want black folks to come out and vote, pay cash payment reparations, do an anti-black hate crime bill, do those things at minimum and watch how black folks come out and vote. 